Okay, so we're going to talk about the final test in our balance assessment uh, test called the chair rise uh, or, or uh, the sit to stand test. Uh, we give the patient 30 seconds to stand up and sit down as many times as possible. Uh, so Ruta, I'll tell you when to go and I'll tell you when to stop. If you wind up getting any undue pain in your knees, your ankles, your hips, or your lower back, let's just stop, okay? If you wind up getting any chest tightness or any kind of chest pain or unreasonable breathlessness, let's just go ahead and stop the test, okay? All right, so what you wanna to do to perform the test properly is have the patient sit on the very edge of the chair. Good, you wanna kinda of keep your feet under you a little bit, so I can, there you go, and a wider stance may help. Whatever feels best for you, okay? And then when we do the test, we're gonna have you put your arms here. Good. So you're not allowed to use your hands or any, any upper body strength to help you stand up out of a chair. And you're not allowed to use your elbows on your knees when you stand up, okay? So just try to keep all that stuff away. On your mark. Again, you wanna go as fast as possible. Stand straight up. That's right. Stand all the way up and then touch the chair as you come back down. On your mark. Get set, go. One, two, it's okay. Three, that's good. Four, five, six, breathe. Seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. 12, and stop. Very good. Okay, so we don't have any risk scores for that test, um, but 12, 13 repetitions is very good. That's a, that's a good strength score. Okay.